story to tell. Widely used by Australian, French and UK forces during the early Cold War, the de Havilland Sea Venom proved to be a reliable naval aircraft platform. The Sea Venom was developed based on the Venom, in response to the Royal Navy's request for an aircraft, that could operate from their aircraft carrier. The first fight was on the 19th of April 1951. Carrier trials followed in 1952 and finally entered service in 1956, as de Havilland Sea Venom. The Sea Venom was the navalized version of the Venom NF-22 Seat Night Fighter, and was used as an all-weather interceptor by the fleet air arm. The necessary modifications for use on the Royal Navy's aircraft carriers included folding wings, a tail hook and strengthened, long stroke undercarriage. The canopy was modified to allow ejection from underwater. The first production Sea Venom took the designation 420. It was powered by a single de Havilland Ghost 103 turbojet engine and its armament, was the same as the RAF version. The next variant was the 421, which included the modifications introduced in the Venom NF-2A, and NF-3. Some of these modifications included the Ghost 104 engine, a clear view canopy, and American radar. The final Royal Navy variant was the 422 powered by the Ghost 105 engine. A total of 39 of this type were built in 1957 to 1958. Some were later fitted out with the de Havilland Firestreak air-to-air -air missile. The 422 featured a maximum speed of 575 miles per hour with a range out to 700 miles and service ceiling up to 39,500 feet. The aircraft exhibited a rate of climb of 5,750 feet per minute. 7421 were modified in 1958 for electronic countermeasures purposes, with the cannon replaced by the ECM equipment. Converted 422 was similarly known as the ECM-22. Sea Venoms were seen in combat action during the 1956 Suez Crisis. Britain was joined by France and Israel in their venture with Sea Venoms launched from HMS Albion and HMS Eagle. Sea Venoms undertook various bombing missions against Egyptian targets of opportunity. Additional actions then greeted the type, during the 1958 Cyprus emergency, and continued in faithful service up until her usefulness as a frontline aircraft was deemed over. By 1959, the Sea Venom began to be replaced in Royal Navy service by the de Havilland Sea Vixen, an aircraft that also had the distinctive twin boom tail. The Sea Venom would be withdrawn from frontline service soon afterwards. The type continued to fly with second-line FAA units until the last were withdrawn in 1970. 